Whenever you have any organization taken over by a bureaucracy like a government, what tends to happen is that input goes up and output goes down. That useless work tends to displace useful work in a further extension of Parkinson's law. And he illustrated it with hospital service in the United Kingdom. He took the eight-year period from 1965 to 1973. In that eight-year period, the hospital staff, the number of people, went up 28%. Incidentally, administrative and clerical help went up 41%. But what about output? What about what they were producing? Input was up. Well, he measured output by the average number of beds occupied daily. It turned out that the average number of beds occupied daily went down by 11%. And he hastened to go on to explain that the decline in the average number of beds occupied was not for want of patients, that at all times there was a waiting list in the neighborhood of 600,000 people waiting for hospital beds. I don't know how many of you know the scandals in Britain about the waiting period for what is regarded as optional or postponable surgery, including, for example, bypass operations for heart problems. There are stories of people who waited three years to have a bypass operation because that could be postponed. Indeed, some of them managed to die before the operation was performed. What tends to happen is that input goes up and output goes down. It's useless work and